When museums collect musical instruments, they're usually the classical ones, grand pianos, for example, or Stradivarius violins. But the Smithsonian, in preserving our cultural heritage, has always collected folk instruments, too. And every week, they come out of their cases for a little down-home exercise. Not just a fiddler, Kathy Fink plays the Appalachian dulcimer, mouth bow, guitar, and banjo in her demonstrations at the National Museum of American History. And her styles range from bluegrass to claw hammer. When you snap your wrist back, you get that sound. And then if you add a melody note, by just hitting one string at a time, what Pete Seeger calls the bum titty rhythm of playing the banjo. The mouth bow, likely the very first stringed instrument, is always an audience favorite. For those of you who thought that you weren't the least bit musically talented and could never make any sound on an instrument, if you have a mouth, you can play one of these. And of course, if you have a hollow head, you can get a better sound. <laughs> If you change the size and shape of the O that your mouth is in, you'll get lots of different sounds. At the end of the weekly demonstrations, experienced visitors can try the instruments themselves, which sometimes leads to a jam session. The folk instrument collection in the National Museum of American History ranges from the earliest American banjos to this fiberglass guitar a type used by many recording stars today. Here at the Smithsonian, I'm Ann Carroll.